Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the PHP. Today we are going to learn about the file upload with drop zone. Okay, so let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So here we go with the tutorial. So here I can drag the files. So let's do the drag part. Okay. <coughs> so here we have uploads directory. Let's make it smaller and let's go to the back desktop and upload some of the files let's suppose i'm going to upload this file okay this file is uploaded and if i go to the folder folder one uploads here you can see that which one is uploaded this file is uploaded right and this is that file okay so the file is uploaded successfully in the upload so let's dive into the code level so here we go with the upload.php file and here we have the index.html so what we have to use is this is the CDN files for the drop zone. So add the CDN. Okay. Then we have a script for the drop zone options, params, file, maximum file cell, accepted files. Uh, this should be .jpg, .jpg, .png, .gif. In it, on success, you can handle whatever successful upload you want to. Whether you want to show the message or something, you can do that. Okay. And this is the form action. Okay. Where we are just uploading that one. Okay. So this is form. After this, it will go to the upload.php and here we have the moving the files into the uploads directory. Okay, then we have uploads target directory. Okay, here we are check if there was an error during the file upload. So these are the cases that we have handled whether it's to be a file size issue, for, uh, error form size, exceed file size, partial upload, no file uploaded, missing the temporary folder. Okay, so all of these are handled over here. So you will get to know about the what the, exactly the issue is. After that, if everything goes well, then move upload files from the temp and move into the upload directory and file uploaded successfully. Else it go with the error uploading the file one. Okay. So this is very simple and very easy. So you can integrate into your PHP project. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, just to let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.